So folks, how much media has Jungle Emperor gone through over the years? He's been involved in manga comics, TV shows, movies, even some real world influences such as having his own cafe in Japan. Not to mention he's cameoed in numerous other forms too, such as Fox TV's Fringe when they played an episode of him on TV during one episode. Yes, that's a thing. But here's another thing. Out of all of this, there is one form of media that they hardly tackled, or at least tackled successfully. And that's video games. So what this video is going to be about is going over the video game genre involving the White Lion himself. However, given the very little to go off, I'm going to go over this in categories. The first one is official games that focus solely on Jungle Emperor. The second one is of games that involve Kimba but don't directly focus on him. This includes cameos too. And the third one is actually fan-made creations and video games involving Kimba. I'll credit every single one accordingly. So, let's get to it with the first category. The first one we're going to be looking into is Kimba's first known attempt, and arguably the most well-known example, with some claiming it was almost complete, simply titled Jungle Emperor. This video game was first started back in the late 1980s, and according to the art style and screenshots, was based around the 1989 adaptation. The game was to be created for the Famicom, which if you don't know what that is, is the Japanese term for the NES. From what information is available about it, the game is to be a platformer with some action with horizontal scrolling. As for the plot, the game was supposedly about how the Moonlight Stones were stolen and Kimba has to get them back. Pretty basic stuff, really. Judging by the screenshots, he goes through a lot of places. The African jungle, through a village at some point, and possibly some Egyptian temple or something. All in all, there's a lot here, but it got cut. Yeah, this attempt despite everything became lost over time, and became cancelled by the 1990s. Why? I really don't know. Nothing seemed to be wrong with it, and it looks almost done too before it got self-cut, so who knows what it could be. This won't be attempted again until the late 1990s, when the world was shown another Kimba video game, Emperor of the Jungle. Now, this time the game is supposedly to be set in a 3D action-adventure game with vast exploration. Something similar to Donkey Kong 64 or Banjo-Kazooie or something. As far as the plot goes, there's hardly jack about it and the only footage we actually got is what you're seeing right now. 14 seconds, and nothing else. Unlike the first one, I don't think it was the creator's fault or anything. See, at the time, this game was created not only for the N64, but for something called the N64 Disk Drive, which is essentially an add-on for the N64 so it can play disk-based games, kind of like what Sony and Sega were doing at the time. However, this became a massive failure and stopped production back in 1991. This meant that many games that were made for it were either remade or stopped in completion. And sadly, Emperor of the Jungle was a part of that uncompleted set and became lost as well. So while Kimba may have had a run of bad luck in his own games, or lack thereof, that doesn't mean he's not had his own appearances elsewhere. And funny enough, this is where he has the most success in, in terms of this media anyway. So, let's see what we got. What you're looking at is Columns GBC, which is basically a columns game featuring Osamu Tezuka characters as playable characters you can be as. Of course, this also includes Leo. Really though, the inclusions of these characters are mainly profile pictures, as gameplay is just... this. The reason I said this one first is that it's the only released game that allows you to play as Leo. Well, if this counts as playing as him.
I've talked a while back about Dingo Pictures and my thoughts on two of their titles, and this is yet another one by them. Only the game itself is made by the Code Monkeys. Doesn't say them from alpha quality though. As for Kimba's involvement, this is actually the time where it was actually stolen. Two mini games, a puzzle game and painting game, has illegal screenshots from Leo the Lion in them as bases. In this case, from Episode 3, The Blue Lion. Lucky for their next, the sequel to this game has all this cut out. Up next is Astro Boy Omega Factor. The reason I'm bringing this up is one of the bosses, I assume is a boss, I'm not familiar with the game, is able to transform into numerous other forms. Amongst these actually includes Leo. Well, adult Leo. The fight with Leo isn't that hard though, as all he does is lunge at you, but it's a nice thing to see anyway. This one is probably the latest inclusion, Tezuka World Astro Crunch from 2016. It's mainly in the same boat as Columns GBC as a form of gem puzzle game featuring works of the father of manga. Luckily though, this offers more to do. Build stuff in a secret base, compare high scores, you know, the usual stuff. As for Kimba, I mean, the trailer itself shows a lot of him. One as a profile, a lot of his pictures in a gem puzzle game, he's an essential part of this. It's the latest game he's ever been involved in, so I might as well include it a part of the list. The app's free too, so nice for any fans to snatch up. Speaking of fans, on to the final category. Now, I don't know if this is all the fan-made game creations out there of him, but I'm going off the ones I know. This is coming from Little Big Planet 3, Team Picks, and as you can see, this involves you playing as Kimba. Little Big Planet 3 is mainly about fan creations, and I've seen a lot of work done out of this game that is simply impressive. As for this one though, all you do is run forward and move out of the way of occasional obstacles and collect coins. Yeah, it's just a runner game, but one of the more detailed ones on this list. M-U-G-E-N is essentially your starter's kit in your own 2D fighting game. You're able to create characters and have them fight it out in their own way. In 2018, Bruce Wayne 74 and Yellow Maid created the special character combo called Astro Boy with Kimba. It's actually pretty good, and while it mostly focuses on Astro Boy, he's able to summon adult Leo out to fight with him. There are sprites of a young Leo too from the files, but the only existing video doesn't show that, so make that however you want. And last, but certainly not least, is Kimba the Jungle Emperor, which actually to my surprise started just a year ago, in late August of 2019. The creator for the project, MKDoes711, started this up for nostalgia for the show and for the fact no game of this exists yet, as we previously discussed. The game was to be made on the Game Maker 8 Pro and was to be available for free on Game Jolt, it appeared to be another example to the very first video game we talked about, a side-scrolling action-adventure game, showing a roar attack on insects and some platforming, with even a few bosses planned such as Speedy and, of course, Tom and Tab. However, a few months ago, MKDoes711 announced that the project had been cancelled, and no further work is being done on it as far as I know. I mean... maybe? A commenter on his channel, Kitten10333, did offer to continue the game for him, but the creator didn't say anything back, so I'm just gonna assume this project's not gonna be continued. And... looks like that's about it. Surprisingly how little there is when it comes to the actual Jungle Emperor video games. 
but when it comes to the fan base for, well, anything, they can sometimes give you quite the surprise, so who knows? Maybe someday we might actually get a game out of Kimba, either fan-made or by the official company. Here's to hoping. <laughs>